teacher Johan is here to make your English skills better. People, in this opportunity, I'm going to teach you another English expression. And the expression that I'm going to teach you today is, let's face it. Yes, let's face it. Repeat that for me, please. Let's face it. When do I use let's face it? I use it when I want to introduce an idea, a negative idea, and I have to accept it. Let's say that I like to travel around the world, but I don't have the money to afford it. And, let, and I can say that in that moment, well, I like to travel around the world, but let's face it, I don't have enough money to afford it. Or I have a friend that he can see good qualities and skills in baseball, and he told me once, you'd be better or you'd be good playing baseball. And I answered him, yes, I could be good at it, but let's face it, I don't have enough experience on it. Okay, so if you see in that moment, let's face it, I am introducing a negative idea and I have to accept it, okay? Entonces, mi gente, esta expresión, let's face it, lo que significa en español es sinceramente, ok, si ustedes fijan, sinceramente, la utilizamos para introducir una idea negativa y tenemos que aceptarla. Por ejemplo, eh, un compañero me dice, dice mira, eh, tú tienes que ser bueno jugando béisbol. Pero, ¿qué tal si te probamos? Hacemos un tryout contigo. Tú le dices, mira, sinceramente, yo nunca he jugado béisbol. Yo no tengo experiencia con eso para nada. Ok, entonces en ese momento que decimos ahí, se sinceramente, para introducir la idea negativa, estamos utilizando la expresión, let's face it. Ok, my people, produzcan inglés hablando y practicando todos los días. Practíquenlo, implementenlo en su vocabulario. Recuerden que el inglés es un arte. Y todos nosotros tenemos que ser artistas. No olvides suscribirte a mi canal. Y si te gustó el video, dejarme gusta. Ok, people. Take care and bye bye.